we're seeing outbreaks in multiple settings, including bars, churches, offices, gyms, long-term care facilities, weddings, family dinners, parties, people are gathering. What we also know is that there are many cases where we do not know the source of the spread. And this is really important. This means that it is spreading in the community and that's even uh, more importantly why we should all be wearing our masks. The age distribution for cases has also changed. So now the group with the highest rate of new cases is the 20 to 29 age group and that is followed by the 30 to 39 year old age group. So this is a really important point. Young people have to understand that they are not immune to this disease. Young people can get very sick from this disease, they can be hospitalized, and they can even die. Even if someone no longer needs to be in the hospital, there are possible long-term health impacts from COVID-19, many of which are still unknown. People can have persistent lung damage. We're seeing uh, studies and reports of possible long-term brain damage and psychiatric challenges as a result of COVID-19 infection. And even if you don't get very ill from the disease, think about the people that you can spread it to. People with underlying medical conditions, those who are older, people who could easily lose their lives. We know of families that have mo lost multiple people across generations because of COVID-19. So regardless of how old you are, do the right thing, not just for yourself, but for the people in your household, your family, and your community.